30, 20, 10. All right. Uh, now, before y'all complain, that was in the touchdown zone, okay? It, it was. Hello, everybody. Welcome back to another video. Today, we are looking at the brand new A220. So, this thing, like, released the other day, and uh, when I first saw this, I was like, oh my gosh, an A220. I, I, I can't wait to fly this. It looks so good. But it's not all sunshine and rainbows, because uh, this thing kind of it, is not really that great. It kind of sucks. First of all, this plane is made by Virtual Co. If you never heard of Virtual Code, they're responsible for making these uh, crappy Embraers. And it comes with two of them. First is the uh, A220-100 and the 300 version. Okay, at first glance, the, the outside, uh, it, it looks uh, pretty good and the sounds of it, especially the flaps, they sound uh, pr pretty good. But once you get to the inside, things get uh, pretty ugly here. So here's the cockpit right here, nice uh, A220 cockpit. And starting with the PFD here, um, this is probably like the most default PFD I've ever seen. And I think this was pulled from the 787, I think. I don't know if um, the, the A220 has this like um, clock right here, the flight number and um, times, but uh, let, let me know in the comments. Here's the navigation display and engines and uh, how big does the font need to be? Like, oh my goodness, it, it's like so big. You got the engines here, and over here you got the, this ecam looking thing. Looks uh, pretty nice. And the FMC looks so depressed. Like, this is the most default FMC in the simulator. And the way that it's stretched out, it, it, it's kind of scary when you look at it. And on the right side here, you have um, all these uh, checklists here. Overhead panel looks a little off. All the textures in here um, are not really that great. You also have this um, ESV over here, which you can like um, do all of, um, the the an announcements in here. Here's the uh, cabin here. You got this uh, little galley over here, and and the textures look all pixelated and stuff. And here are the seats, two three configuration. You all know that stuff and. Um, you got the exit sign there. I, I highly doubt those work. And now it's time to actually fly this thing, so uh, let's go. Release the parking brake. Hear those nice um, engines spool up. And we're off. Bring the gear up. Uh, and the gear doesn't actually close in, it, it, it just like stays out, uh, almost like the 737. And this thing flies nice honestly, it, it, it's very smooth. Look at this autopilot disconnect sound. Like, what is that? It, it sounds like the Airbus autopilot disconnect sound, but it's like fast. Okay, this is my first ever landing on the A220. All right. And, and now, before y'all complain, that was in the touchdown zone, okay? It, it was. While I'm here, look, here's the uh, spoilers. They look uh, pretty good. And yes, that is the uh, A220. This thing's $18. Should you buy it? I, I don't think so because uh, this thing's kind of a scam and, and the cockpit doesn't look that great. So, well, guys, I hope you enjoyed this review of the uh, Virtual Coal A220. Make sure you comment, like, and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one. Safe travels.